Hello, welcome to another episode of 360 Seconds in a Rolls Royce with Stephen Akintayo. Last week we started a series, Four Common Mistakes in Investment. And then this week we're we'll digging deep into the first point. Number one, okay, which is basically trusting family members and of course religious acquaintance are both professionals. When it comes to investment, it's not sentiment, it's the same thing with business. And you have to be sure that you get the counsel of top professionals before doing that. You want to make sure that you attract a lot of great professionals to show you the way, how, what to do, and the basic steps before investing. Those who don't obey this law always end up in big, big Great. However, today we will emphasize on the second point, which is do not be emotional when investing. Okay, or emotional investing is the second common mistake that people make when they go into investment. I've met several people who invested because it was their village. <laughs> We've seen people who are high net worth individuals, for example who went to build a five billion naira house in their village. The question, majorly politician, anyway, how do you, do you see professionals do this much? The question is, in the future, 20 years from now, can you sell that house higher than the amount it was purchased? The answer is no. One of my guests was sharing with me the house his grandfather built in his village. And the day they were to bury his grandfather, which was 11 years ago, bats was everywhere. You know, actually it was his father, not even his grandfather. They killed more than 100 bats. And this man had 22 children, and he's the only one in Nigeria. All of them are not even in the country. If I had to give the house to a school <laughs> to be used just so that it doesn't even waste. But you see, if the same person had bought a land in Lekki, in Abuja, or built a house in Potaka, Abuja, Lagos, that property can still be sold for a higher value. It can be repurposed and they still get higher value. So don't go into investment because, oh, you know, it's my city, it's my town. Nothing wrong when you've achieved certain level. You remember we talked about third generation residual income? Aha, uh -huh. when you have that like, third generation residual income, there are certain things you can begin to do based on emotions, based on sentiment. But you do not invest because of emotions. Some of you invest in businesses just because it's owned by your relative, even though the numbers are not right. Some of you have pastors, quote and unquote, imam, quote and unquote, bring you bad, you know, opportunities. And you still go ahead and invest it because it's a pastor. That is called emotional investing. Some of you also, end up investing in things that will not work but because you are relationally tied your girlfriend your fiance your wife is involved listen this is investment we're talking about here don't bring in emotions okay and if you can let go the emotional part of investing you will build wealth you lay up you know money like gold like dust like gold as dust you will build massive you know wealth it's not emotional. So what then is, is investment? It's factual, scientific. You do analysis, you analyze, you calculate, you measure return on investment, you analyze the chances that you get return. For example, when I want to invest in certain business opportunities, even when I trust the person, I still do my own personal analysis. For example, you're asking me to come and invest in your farm business and you're going to be giving me 20% return every year. I will still take time, analyze the, the, the farm business in Nigeria, analyze the, the strategy you're putting in place, analyze the, the, you know, the value chain of agriculture, analyze the chance of you being able to sell your produce once you produce it, and the chance of you actually being able to pay me back my money. 
and i'll probably even ask you what are your other alternatives what if um, there's famine there's pests there's no rain do you have other ways that you can you know you, you put in place do you even have insurance for your farm right these are powerful things that you want to look into okay so i hope you've learned it in or two in this 360 seconds of investment remember to shoot me a testimony if you got value you learned uh, follow me across all social media handle and of course um you know uh, my handle is at steve Akita tv on youtube facebook linkedin at steve Akita on instagram twitter and of course tiktok yeah tiktok i love you guys bye bye Receiving Akintayo Consulting, expanding the frontiers of knowledge and wealth. To sign up, log on to www.stevingakintayo.com forward slash coaching.